Hello, this is Bern, and if you're a woman who wants to learn how to not just be loved, but be adored by a man, you are in luck, because that's what I'm about to reveal in my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super pumped because I'm going to be sharing with you right now a quintessential question that every woman I connect with, no matter what her income level is, or what her country is, or what her shape, or size, or color, wants to know. And that's how to go beyond just being loved and be adored with devotion by a man. And what I thought about is I'm gonna share with you five top ways that you can practice immediately. Don't wait for this video to be over, start practicing as I'm speaking to you, to really get this, and to really get this level of deep, emotional connection from a man, which is adoration, okay? First one is pretty simple, but it requires a lot of courage and that's fall in love with your uniqueness. Here's what I mean. So many women are so unnecessarily caught up in their heads in this fucked up idea of who they have to be to be adored that it's ridiculous. You don't have to be someone you're not. You don't have to change the shape of your face or the size of your ass or anything to be adored by a man. You do, however, have to fall in love with how special and unique you are. Think about this. There is no other woman on earth alive today exactly like you. And you have certain strengths that combined make you an amazing woman. If you connect that and if you're willing to express that to the world, if you're caught up in your head into how you're not that woman and how you have to change something to be worthy, nothing wrong if you want to get healthier, nothing wrong if you want to be more knowledgeable, but if you feel like something's lacking in you to be able to be adored, that's a challenge. So right now, connect to your uniqueness and express yourself knowing that you're very, very special and different from any other woman on this planet. Number two, turn on your intuition. And here's what I mean by that. So many women are connected to their head and don't get a chance to open their intuitive center to know where a man is coming from. So if you turn on your intuition, this is going to allow you to A, know exactly what a guy is thinking or feeling. You get that general feeling of this is good or this is bad, or this is creepy or this is weird. And you can take action more powerfully from that. But two, it allows you to stop wasting time with a guy who has a shitty intention for you or no intention at all. And you're wasting and wasting and wasting time. If you turn on your intuition and you discover that the guy that you're with has a center of integrity that doesn't match yours or has different goals in you and he's not willing to align them himself to yours and he's not your guy basically you stop connecting with him and you connect to a man who can adore you the biggest reason why most women are not adored by men is because they're connected to guys who don't have it in them to adore them and they want to make him adore them so it's not about making a specific guy adore you it's about bringing yourself so powerfully into the world that the right guy with the right resonance that matches yours connects with you and falls in love with you okay number three Practice openness daily. And openness is a mind, body, spirit, and heart thing. Those four areas, okay? Mind, be open to new ideas, read new books, come up with theories that are different from yours, and challenge your own ideas. Body, can't emphasize this enough. <laughs> open your heart. Rigidity is the, is the enemy of a man feeling it, <laughs> adoration for you. Fluidity and heart openness and body openness and sensuality is the friend, the closest friend you'll have to connect, have a man not just feel mentally connected to you, but devotionally connected to you because he can't control that feeling he gets inside when you open your heart and you open your body and you open your spirit. Okay, so that's number uh, two. Number, I'm sorry, that's number three. <laughs> number four is drop to your heart and get to know your man from your heart. So here's what I mean. So many women are connected to guys at the level of the head and ask questions at the level of the head and become curious about him, almost like an interrogation at the level of the head. Nothing wrong with that every now and then, but when a man gets to feel that you, your heart really knows him, when your heart is so open that you can put his, your heart into his heart and feel what he's feeling. And as a woman, you have the capacity to do that. It's one of the powers that make you so unique and so amazing and so different from men. You can really go inside someone's heart and feel what he's feeling. You can get to intuitively and emotionally and sensually feel what the man is feeling and understand him from that place. It gives, gives you extra compassion. It also gives you a greater capacity to really get him. When you can do that, a man feels like he's falling in love with you. 
because you really get him. It's not a getting him at this level, it's getting him here. He feels this with his entire body. <clears throat> so it's incredibly powerful. And a way to start is just, when you're connecting to a guy, feel what he's feeling. Don't go from your head to your heart and feel what he's feeling. Number five, know when to lean back and when to walk away. Can't emphasize this enough. This is so important because the fear that most women feel when a guy that's amazing shows up and then pulls back is, I'm gonna compensate, I'm gonna do all these things to make sure that he doesn't go away. And that creates the opposite of adoration that creates being smothered. That's the feeling that a guy feels like, oh my God, it's too much for me, I can't handle this. But if you lean back, if you actually have the, you're connected, to, and that's why I started with connecting to your uniqueness, because if you're connected to your uniqueness, you have the capacity to lean back, because you know if the guy doesn't show up, somebody else will, so you lean back, and then if the guy is still not taking action, you walk away. Walking away and leaning back will be incredibly powerful in having a guy feel the stretch, the pull, the elasticity between what he wants and him not getting it, that he will come back full force if he has it in him and not just connect with you in a loving way, but in an adoring way. Now, if the guy doesn't stand that test and when he stops connecting with you or he does something weird, you lean back and he doesn't go for it, then it just tells you that the guy is not for you and you connect to a man who has the capacity to adore you. I'll just say this last thing, don't settle for love. <laughs> love is cool, but adoration is even better. So if you find this is helpful, powerful, insightful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things right now. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, I want you to click on this button here that's gonna show up right now on your screen and you'll get an opportunity to enroll in a free live webinar that I'm hosting that's gonna share with you, show you, a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff, and it's free. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions for me, please leave me a note underneath this video and let me know what you think of this. If you have questions for me, I'll be more than happy to answer them personally. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.